The Nintendo Switch Sports Golf update has finally arrived, so here is all the information, tips and tricks you need to take your Nintendo Switch Sports Golf playing to the next level and to first place online. This new sport definitely captures a little bit of that magic from the original Wii Sports, whilst also being quite similar to Mario Golf Super Rush, so if you've played either of those games you're going to roughly know what to expect here. The game will give you a tutorial with the most basic of basics, but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail here and tell you what the game doesn't. Starting out, let's go over your hand position and curving the ball because it's quite important. The natural arc of your swing is going to add curvature to the ball, mainly because of the way your arms actually move across your body. When you're in the position to swing, just try twisting your wrist like this. This shows how much it affects the swing in game. What I've found works best for me is to set the curve up as best as possible when bringing your arm up and then you can essentially slowly move it up and down until you get the level of drive that you want. Then swing down in a smooth, fast arc, but not really fast or you'll go all over the place with a high power. Try to keep your wrist locked as you do this to maintain the same curve or straight that you want. Now it does sound a little bit complicated and I promise if you give it a few goes and give it a little bit of a practice, this will help your consistency so, so much. I've moved from consistent bogeys to consistent pars and therefore I can get top three in every survival golf match I go into now. Next, there is plenty of information on the screen you can use. Wind speed, gradient of the terrain, and the mini map with power markers give you enough information to make an informed decision as to how powerful you swing and where to swing. You can move with the joystick on your Joy-Con and this can help find paths through trees and over lakes better than what is actually set for you. You'll notice the game will always set you up straight towards the hole, no matter where you actually are, which I mean, look, this, this isn't going to help. Survival golf matches are fun, but if you are placing in the finals, you are going to find that these are taking 12 to 15 minutes a pop. And that's quite a long time. With that said, you do get 50 points as a basic amount to compensate for the amount of time spent in this match. Combine that with one of the time limited 1.3 times overall bonuses and get pars, nice approaches and birdies and such, and you'll be racking up massive amount of points very quickly. This basic CPU match got me 133 points with ease, and that's without the 1.3 times bonus. So this could be a good contender for a fun, relaxed way to get your outfits online. You can change your club for different situations. This is done with the right and left D-pad buttons on the joy Icon, and to be honest, I found that this is quite like Mario Golf and recommends you the right one for the right situation most of the time, but depending on what you need, you can manually change it to suit your needs. I mainly use it to assist with bunkers or if I'm going over lakes, not, not that I get in the bunker a lot. There are out of bounds areas that don't actually look like out of bounds areas. If you watch this from the special course in the offline single player mode, you'll see that there are a few different shades of green. The darkest green right here is out of bounds. Getting out of bounds puts you back to where you were and adds an extra shot onto your score, essentially killing any and all chance of getting under par for your round. The offline mode is pretty excellent for training and has quite a few fun aesthetics. There's resort courses, classic courses, special courses, and a random mode which just gives you random holes to do out of the other 21. Resort contains nine, classic contains nine, and special contains three. Resort has a more tropical aesthetic and Classic has an aesthetic closer to Wii Sports but they each have the same numbers of difficulties of holes which you can pick if you decide to do just three holes in a round. 18 holes has you go for all of them across Resort and Classic. Back spins back, all right. When swinging, if you come to a dead halt as soon as you hit the ball, you can add some backspin onto the ball. And you can tell you've got it because it will do this little white backspin aura when it hits the ground. It takes a little bit of practice, but this is great when you think you might just overshot on the green. We're gonna be getting new golf clubs as equipment for the weekly cosmetic rewards, and you can select your golf club as part of the customization screen. Unless you've looked at the data mines, we don't know exactly which ones we're gonna be getting. But if you look at this new Switch Sports trailer, you can see the trail from my normal shot here, and then the one in the trailer has a different trail. It's quite nice. When drawing back for a normal shot, you get an estimated power level. This does not happen when you are putting. So when putting, it's all about the velocity with which you swing forward rather than how much you draw it back. It's also important to check the terrain so that you can get a more accurate shot and it's not gonna curve around the hole or anything like that. And to end this, you don't need good golf form in order to play this game or even better your chances considering how motion detection works. But if you want to try it, have a bend at the hips, straight back, shoulders primed back, and don't just swing your arms. You want the power to come from your hips, swinging the whole torso as you go. There are proper golf swing tutorials on YouTube who do it better than I have, so why don't you check those out if you want your proper form, but to be honest, you don't really need it, but it can be a little bit of fun. Those are the tips and tricks that the game doesn't tell you, and combined, you'll be getting birdies and eagles and maybe even a hole in one in no time at all. Remember to have fun, and obviously practice makes perfect, but this information will do you wonders. Have you got a hole in one yet? And are you enjoying golf on Nintendo Switch Sports? Let us know in 
in the comments and I want to say thank you to my patrons like Rain and Sick Hippie for the amazing support they give through Patreon. I'm Master Trainer Peter of course, now check out this next video that's going to show you more about Nintendo Switch Sports.